What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the San Diego Surf My League expansion series on NBA 2K19. Today, we're going to make some more progress here in the third season of the series and see if we can keep up the winning ways we ended last episode with. And I have a couple new things I want to try as far as gameplay goes. So that ought to be very interesting. But so far, this has been kind of an odd start to the season. We had our struggles against the defending champs, the Phoenix Suns, but after we got past this first little stretch of games, we've won three straight. And today, I don't know which team I want to face. Maybe the Warriors, not the Suns again. I don't think that'll go too well. I do want to edit our sim points of emphasis quick. I want to make Casey Daniels our primary scoring option, Frederick Wilcox the secondary, but I want our third to be Rodney Kane. I think that with his mid-range game, we can utilize that a little bit more, and he tends to lead us in scoring anyway in a lot of games, even though he's not really getting a lot of focus here. And I think that I want the post, the post game, to be a lot more of what we do. And I've been watching some tutorials and watching some actual basketball to see how some teams get it done. And I've had a lot of fun watching the playoffs this year, so hopefully I'm able to pick up on a few things. But I think I'll be using Rodney Kane a lot more, and anybody else who can give us more of a post-game presence. Because when I play, we really don't have one at all. So let's simulate another handful of games. We do beat Minnesota to keep the winning streak going, and Rodney Kane is now 100%. We are not going to make that trade. We lost to the Hawks. What is going on here? Decline. We lose to the Kings. And three losses in a row. Okay, so six and six. Do we want to take on the Force? Yeah, we'll check this matchup out. We have the Surf and the Force, who now have Spencer Dinwiddie on the team. And I don't know if they have any other major changes here. They have Klay Thompson still and Chris Middleton. That was their core to begin with obviously Chris Flanders was the first pick of theirs in the entire series and there are some updates today for the uniforms blackjack did a, a second version of them made a couple changes so hopefully you enjoy the slightly updated look I like the uniforms though I think it's a nice look for us and we'll start the day Frederick Wilcox and I do, like I said, want to get the ball more to Rodney Kane. Cutting under the basket. Okay, that worked well. Deflected over to Hernan Gomez. And the other way now with Dinwiddie. I thought we'd maybe bring him in this offseason. Did not work out that way. Going up in the air to block nothing exactly in the fourth strike first. Clay Thompson, he's going to turn around and fade away and drill the two-point shot. It's already a 6 to nothing start for the Force. If this game isn't all that interesting, we will try something else. But I'm hoping I can find some new stuff today on offense. I know that I haven't really been using uh, the post game a ton as I should anyway. I don't know how I made that, but Rodney Kane gets it done. He's a pretty good scorer. But I've just been watching the playoff games quite a bit and seeing the way offenses are able to, you know, draw help defense and open up shots. It's stuff that I'm like, okay, I was clearly not doing any of that. And I feel like, wow, I was trying to get that to Kane. But I think it would uh, dramatically help, especially, uh, you know, we like to shoot. So I think that having more of a post presence will open up some of those guys if it works. How I am imagining anyway. That's deflected. We got that now. Got a score here. In transition. Nope. Nope. Don't like it. Don't like it at all. How about Rodney Kane backing down low. And there we go. Good finish. I do have the layup meter on now. That's been one of the points of feedback now for a while. I got that changed. So I'll be in a little more control there. Which, you know, that might not be a good thing. We'll have to see. Dinwiddie down to Clay Thompson getting around. Casey, oh my! Blocked with authority. They called Daniels on the foul. This is the first year, though, I've really gotten into watching the NBA playoffs more than just, like, the final series or anything. And I think I'm really going to miss it. I was really enjoying being able to, especially in, like, the first couple of rounds, having a couple games a night a lot of times. 
and being able to uh, kind of watch the series unfold and everything. And there have been some really good performances too out of guys like Kawhi Leonard and Damian Lillard. And I don't know, it, it seems like it's been a really fun playoff. So you can let me know if this is better than they usually end up being, but I feel like it's been really, really fun to watch. Let's go down low here, Valanchunas, and over the top, not gonna work. I might try some of those a little more often and just see if I can get it to work with Valanchunas. That's what I want more so though, I wanna open up guys in the corner. Casey going down low, and there we go to get it within one point now. Valanchunas has his first of the day. All right, Klay Thompson can't miss right now, so combine that with whatever I'm trying to do offensively, we are down five. Yeah, I like the update of the uniforms, though. I think that it's a pretty nice set. I like the other ones, too, but I know that uh, the default were not very popular here in the comments. Trying to get some stops here, but against Clay, it's been tough. He finally misses one. Down by five. Kane, he wants it! Throw it down, Rodney! There we go. That's what I like to see. Now Dinwiddie gets his to Clay Thompson once again. He'll just take the shot right over the top of Casey Daniels. And he's missed his second in a row. Driving now. Down. I, okay, I'll take a foul. Thought I was getting that to Valanchunas, but... I like this as well. I don't have too many games where I've gotten going quite like this with Rodney Kane. So, already, he has seven of our nine points. Couldn't hit both free throws. Dinwiddie driving. Thought he could go all the way to the rim on that. Surprised he did not get that. Oh, no, I can't pass it through Clay Thompson. It should be too easy, perhaps, for Middleton. KC trying to create some space now. Step back against Clay. No. Not sure how many of those I should try, but I kind of like the, the feel of the control there for the step back. But I know that we're kind of more of a catch and shoot offense as KC misses again. Dinwiddie guarded by Kane. Got some space there off the pick. Good board by Valanchunas. That's already four in the first quarter. Wilcox under the basket, that's not going to work. It does feel a little different now having the meter there as opposed to just seeing what happens. And another board for Valanchunas. Let's go for 10 in the first quarter. Taking my time here with CJ McCullum, and he knocks down the three. Okay, quick answer there by Clay Thompson, but I think that we're starting to figure something out. Dinwiddie heating up. He's one of the only starters in the game now at the moment. Force up by a one. I believe we've beat the force exactly once in team history. Here's Fournier taking the open look and he'll knock that down. He's one of our new faces on the team. And I think I will play a little bit more with the second team today. I like a lot of these players. Morris and Fournier, I think, were pretty solid additions. And I've always liked using Jonah Bolden right on time. How about we get this one? Oh, Roberson. Didn't realize that was him blocked. All right. Good try, Fournier. And now it's Evans back the other way. Flanders, I can't believe, is still coming off the bench in his third season. Almost knocked that one away. This probably isn't going to end well, but they gave it up. Now Flanders outside, Evans, nope. And Valanchunas, nine rebounds already. Let's draw this foul here, Bolden, or not. If you weren't aware, by the way, it's probably obvious, but I don't know basketball very well. I'm sure most of you are aware of that, especially if you've watched the early, early episodes. But uh, what happened there? I tried to pass it away, kind of got deflected. But uh, I've just been trying to learn 2K a bit this year. That's 10 boards now for Valanchunas. And it, it's been a process. There has been some growth. And I really enjoy the game.
I think that it's a pretty fun game, and I'm glad I've taken the time to get to learn it a little bit. But clearly still have a long way to go if I really want to complete the goal of this series. And I'm hoping to get us to the playoffs and beyond. There's 11. We're going to probably set a record today, I'd have to expect. Get that down low. Okay, that's an interesting way to get it done. I, I'll take it. All right, switched on to Bolden defensively. Nice job by Evans to make it a four-point game. Maybe I'll go one more possession here. Oh, got that back off the deflection now. Morris for Valanchunas, and that'll be his second bucket of the day. So, okay, kind of a neck-and-neck -neck game so far. It's been a good time. Now let's do a little simulation into the second quarter. The Surf actually have taken the lead. I'm not used to us actually doing well in the simulation, but here we go. Looks like this one's gonna be pretty close. Let's go to the third quarter now. We actually have a five point lead. I wanna jump in. Maybe get a little more playing time with some of these backups. Eight points for Monty Morris. So far that signing is kinda working out how I expected. Good D there on Flanders, and we'll take that off the miss. Casey's in the game. And is trying to keep attention away from him. Daniels. Only six points on the day for Casey. We'll see if we can get that going a bit more. And Flanders. He's cool in this one. And trying to get past Morris. And wow. That was a pretty cool layup. Alexi Edwins in the game too. I know I could use his post presence a little bit. That shouldn't have worked, but it totally did. We have gotten Casey from four to eight points just like that. So far, I'm liking having that layup meter on, though. I feel more in control of some of these tough shots, so maybe they have a, a better shot of actually going in. Wow. Some of the drives in this episode have looked like they had no chance, and then <laughs> they go in like every time. Here's Casey. I want to get Alexi Edwin a few more opportunities. Fournier down low. And how about the turnaround jumper? Not going to happen. Hernan Gomez now against Edwin. And there's Evans taking the shot. Look good. But it bounces out. Five point game. Edwin. He will go up with a left hand and come up empty. And now back the other way. This is Korkmaz, and he'll miss the open look. Not sure if I'm saying his name correctly. I'm not uh, familiar with him. Okay. Hesitated there, and that cost me. And this will make it a three-point contest. Now let's slow it down a little bit here. Don't want more turnovers and whatnot. Casey draws the foul and count the shot. All right, three-point play here for Casey Daniels. Only a 78 free throw shooter. So we do not get the trifecta. Now Flanders, he's offline. As long as Clay Thompson isn't in the game, I feel pretty good about us building up this lead. That probably wasn't the best shot to take. George's Hunt gives it up. Flanders again. We've played good defense on him. As he will find Middleton, and he can't complete it. Back the other way. How about Evan Fournier? Oh, okay, that probably shouldn't happen. Edwin, yes. Seven-point advantage now for the surf. Landers doing his best to get around Morris, and we'll just keep playing good defense, though, on those jump shots. Casey, oh, floating that one. How about that? I feel like I'm trying some really weird stuff today and it's working more than it should. Ooh, good feed. Flanders with a quick answer back. All right, we're playing at a very rapid pace right now. I, I enjoy it. Here's Jonah Bolden now trying to work down low. Bolden with the finish. And now they're going to go with the Hail Mary pass, and Hernan Gomez will get nothing. All right, let's make this a 10-point game. Morris is cold. Morris driving, and I don't 
like where this is headed. All right, pick and roll, Edwin. Good pass, and that'll make it. 11 points up now for the surf. One of my best second team sequences ever in this series. Flanders will find Evans now, trying to cut this lead down before the end of the quarter. Double teams and gets his own block. Hernan Gomez has it now. And Flanders with time running out. Guarded by Morris. This isn't going to end well. Another miss. Contested. And we're going back. Last possession here of the quarter. And Casey's going to give it up, actually. Bolden under the basket. Count it. We have built up a 13-point lead. I don't know exactly what I'm doing, but I know whatever I'm trying is working. We have a nice lead built up, and the backups are still in to begin the quarter. Morris. Going low again, Alexi Edwin. Oh, I thought Morris was going to cut and kind of wrap around there. How about Rodney Kane instead? How about the... Ooh, that's an awkward shot. I thought I was going to do that spinning turnaround jumper. I don't even know what that was. I'm not even sure what to call it. Middleton gives the force a quick bucket, and they'll make it an 11-point game. There's Edwin. There we go. Nice recovery off of the bad pass. Ten points now for Alexi Edwin. Five boards. I wonder what Valanchunas is at. Yeah, this performance has me thinking we could actually be a pretty good team this year. We'll see if the starters can maintain it once they get back in. Middleton now over Daniels. And nothing is falling for the force. They need to get... Um, Clay Thompson back out there in a big way. There's Casey. Dinwiddie gives it up to Hernan Gomez, and Edwin knocks it away. Everything going well for the surf, and here's Kane wide open offline. Oh, give it to Edwin. He's cutting under the basket again. This could be that breakout performance for him. Now switching over to Edwin defensively. Dinwiddie, good shot. All right, we'll take that open look right there with Rodney Kane. We're just getting all sorts of looks. Everything feels good right now. I think Jonah Bolden's pretty close to a triple-double coming off the bench, if I'm not mistaken. You know, I haven't played this in a little while. I did not think that this would be the episode we'd return to. Oh, come on. You can't... You're not going to get away with that pass. Here's Valanchunas. Count it. Valanchunas has 18 rebounds. Almost at that double-double. That'll get him no closer. My free throws have not been very good today. If that's the worst part of my game, I think we're going to be just fine. I'm taking that. It's a two, isn't it? Ended up contested. Good effort by Wilcox, who has hardly... Been a part of this episode, it seems. Nice no-look pass by Clay Thompson. But down 17. What do the Force have? Well, they have Clay Thompson. He can hit all sorts of shots. And he's 10 of 14 today. They'll need him to probably carry this team in the fourth quarter. What have I done well today? I hope that this is something I can kind of continue to do. All right, I don't know what exactly I'm doing here, but I just need a, a little pick here for Rodney Kane. It was worth a shot. Dinwiddie to Thompson. He'll find Hernan Gomez, another block. Hernan Gomez. That wasn't blocked again, was it? We got it back the other way regardless. Oh, my, come on. No. Rushed that one a little bit. I thought we'd get it there with Wilcox. And now Clay with an answer. Oh, we lost it right there. I was about to pass it off to Wilcox. So Thompson now with the numbers advantage. Gives it up. Quick basket. 11-point game now. This could get interesting if we have uh, any more bad possessions like that last one. Valanchunas backing down low. That's not going to fall. Here's the opening for the force now to cut it down to single digits. 
Guarded by Daniels. Dinwiddie down low to Thompson. Guarded by McCollum. And the turnaround jumper will not fall. That's Casey. It was open. Oh, oh, good board. I don't think this is going to work, though. Get it out there. Rodney Kane, wide open. That's 18 on the night. That's what I want to see. About well, halfway through this fourth quarter, Thompson inside 10 seconds and able to drive on McCollum and get a good look. So Pittsburgh down 12. All right, let's just keep playing our game here. I think what we're trying today is certainly working. Casey, ooh, good defense there. How about Kane left wide open though? He misses in the corner. Middleton pulls up and Hernan Gomez right there for the board. Wide open look now, Middleton from three knocks it down and we are back to a nine point game now. Get it over to Casey and down low here, Frederick Wilcox. This isn't really where he dominates, but he's got to get better. And he makes this shot for us. How about these numbers? Eight points in the paint out of his 11. That's a little unorthodox for Frederick Wilcox, but I think he's uh, this game's gotten more complete as this series has gone on for sure. So 11-point game again. Hernan Gomez over to Clay. Thank you. 21 rebounds for Valanchunas. No idea what the record is, but I know we're close. Gotta be. Here's Rodney Kane. He'll give it up to Valanchunas. Give it up to Casey now. How about that? Let's go. That was so cool. I was going up with Valanchunas. I'm like, wait a minute. We have a better idea. I'm not sure I've passed out of a shot like that before. Clay hits again. What else is new? 28 points. Valanchunas now driving. Ooh. Thought we almost had that uh, again. Nearly identical. Here's McCollum. No. Ooh. Second chance again? All right. We're just playing well today. I love it. Casey. Almost got blocked, but didn't. Oh, that got deflected. Thank you. Here we go, Casey. Keep it all the way. Daniels is up to 20. And I'm pretty sure he was at 4 when I got back into the game in the third quarter. So, big second half for Casey Daniels. And we are close to running away with this game. Clay gives it off to Dinwiddie. Passing over to Middleton. The defense, though, guys. How about the defense today? Everybody has played a good game, I feel. This is a true team effort. This might be the best game I've played, honestly. I feel like it is. Even if, you know, it's not my best shooting game or anything. As far as just all-around basketball goes, that, that not included. Ignore that part. Here's Dinwiddie now. Just take the free throw, Spencer. I wonder how this team would have looked if we had signed Dinwiddie over McCullum. It would have been a lot more expensive. Okay, okay, and he made it. Okay, 2K. That was interesting. That was an experience. How about we give this to Valanchunas? Man, I've gotten so much better. I love it. I'm shooting 59%. That's a high percentage. And now Clay over McCullum. Oh, man. That's the one guy I've had trouble with today. Guarding Clay Thompson. I know he missed that shot, but we didn't get the rebound, so it hardly matters. Wilcox is left alone, and he's not missing that. I am having a very good time right now. Jonas Valanciunas is player of the game with his 20-plus rebounds. But this is one of those games where it's a true team effort. I thought we did really well at rebounding. I know that this was probably one of our easier matchups. I'm not sure Hernan Gomez is really an elite rim protector or anything. But I feel that Valanchunas has played well. And my offense. Like, I wanted to do some new stuff today. 
and I think I did a pretty good job at it. There's a foul. Count it. Three-point play complete. 15 points up. So I got into this game, I think, up five. I kind of look at my own personal plus-minus when I play these games, and uh, this is a good one. That almost stolen. Miracic, haven't really... He was a starter, and we've hardly even seen him on the floor today. Wilcox against Middleton. I think my switch defense has been a lot better. I'm not really getting lost on the pick and roll. So that's obviously a big help. It's Frederick Wilcox, and he can't knock down the three. We got the numbers here even in transition. Dinwiddie knocked away to Rodney Kane. CJ. No, no. AC. Yes. I'm not sure I've ever shot at this high of a clip before. I'm not sure what my personal shooting percentage is, but I haven't like overshot the three today. I haven't just taken a bunch of bad shots. Although I probably haven't taken the, the right kind of threes. Here's McCollum off the screen and that doesn't even fall. I've only had a couple three-point shots. Thompson, awkward shooting form there, and they'll get the offensive board. Only a minute to go. So close to pulling off maybe my most impressive win yet against a good opponent, too. We'll do some more simulation after this, but this is a performance I think I can be pretty proud of here. I want a little pick and fade action with Frederick Wilcox. They forgot about him. Don't recommend it. He missed it. I don't need it. I have done so much better at feeding guys who are open under the basket and actually having a down low presence today. Let's take this with Rodney Kane though. We got to hit one of those eventually. So we're looking at a very impressive double digit win here for the San Diego Surf. And we'll just run out the last four and a half seconds. How about that? That was something right there. Surf win and get back above 500 against a quality foe. Final score, 125-111. I think the difference maker in this game was that I took a lot of good two-point looks and normally I'm looking at trying to create the three ball. I didn't need it today. I shot 0 for 6 with Casey. I had... I didn't shoot those. I think I made three three-pointers. Maybe four. I definitely hit one with CJ, but this is pretty low as far as attempts go. I had the one with Fournier early on too, but I think today I actually was able to create a lot of looks thanks to that you know presence in the paint and I was able to pass out of some looks and get some quality two-point shots so very very pleased so let's do some more simulating then see if we can give ourselves a good chance this year I'm not giving up a two and a Lexi Edwin although I mean I can't fault you for wanting him after the way he played in that last game Monty Morris is now hurt, our backup point guard. Okay, I'll have to make a change there. And coming off of that game, now Robertson has a day-to-day -day injury. Now the Jazz are trying to get Rodney Kane, giving up a 2022 first round pick that would be top three protected. Wow, I will decline that deal. Maybe you think I should have accepted that one. It was definitely a good one, but I like Kane. So we lose a couple in a row and now rip off three straight victories. They are offering trades left and right. I'm just not interested. Four wins in a row. Morris is back. That's great. Let's get into December a little bit here. And we're still above 500. So we are definitely a better team. And maybe even a, a fringe playoff team. Possibly. We're 12 and 11. Not spectacular, but after last year, it's vastly improved let's see some of these box scores now who's leading the way for us Casey with 23 Wilcox 21 
Whoa, big day for Rodney Kane. That's got to be one of her highest scoring outputs ever. 38 points in a win where only three players were got into double figures. Kane, 7 for 10 from three-point range. All right, Rodney Kane can play. You know, when it came to, like, ranking him, uh, Wilcox, and Daniels, I probably would have gone Daniels, Wilcox, Kane. And now I'm kind of like, is it Daniels or is it Kane as the top guy going forward? I don't know. Wilcox gets 35 in this game. But it's like, if someone has an off day like Kane did here, we can pick up the slack. Right now, we would actually be a playoff team. There's a long way to go, but I think at this stage, 23 games in, the Surf have never been better than this. How about power rankings? Maybe we're toward the middle of the pack this time. And 20th. So we could be doing a little bit better here, but maybe another episode like this will solidify us as at least an average basketball team. We're currently 12 and 11 on the season. Let's take a look at our per 36 numbers. I want to see some of these efficiency numbers and the scoring. So here are just the raw point per game averages. Casey Daniels leads the way. When you go to per 36, it becomes Frederick Wilcox and then Casey and then Rodney Kane and Alexi Edwin. When he's on the court, he's really solid. We saw that today. I felt really good playing with him and I thought that uh he was a really efficient scorer too there weren't a lot of misses in there right now Rodney Kane is our best three-point shooter Casey Daniels is shooting 37.7 percent but Rodney Kane when did he get eight badges and become an 81 overall I feel like I just missed that I want to see that development chart I'll get to that in a moment, but Kane was on the all-rookie team a year ago. Best free throw shooters. We have Daryl Macon, who comes off the bench sparingly. And then Frederick Wilcox is hitting 96.8%. As a team right now, we're actually a below-average three-point shooting team. When it comes to free throws, I'm guessing we're not too good there either. 21st. But we are an average rebounding team now, so that is getting better. We get seven steals a game. That is not very good, actually. I'm not sure exactly what's making us better, but I'm glad we are. Well, we are good at this. Points off turnovers. We're tied for the best in the league. Our opponents are shooting at the fourth best rate in the NBA when it comes to threes. We have average at best three-point defense. I don't know what it is, but we're playing well right now as a team, and it's a lot of fun. Well, this has certainly gotten better. It looks like at one point he was a 92, and now he's a 97 open mid-range shooter. This is Rodney Kane's development chart. And I'm not seeing a lot of this other stuff get that same progress. But that is where we're at right now. The San Diego Surf are slightly above 500. We look like an average team this year that could very well be in the playoff hunt. And that is not what I was expecting this year. It's what I was expecting last year. So next time, we will get into another matchup, put another dent in the season, hopefully get us closer to a possible playoff run with this team. Please leave your feedback down below. Why do you think this team has improved this year? And what did I do exactly today in the gameplay that I need to do going forward? Please leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you again with more surf action soon. Have a great day, everybody.